Hi guys, um, the following video is a video I actually recorded a number of weeks ago. Uh, it's an unboxing I got from uh, Mantis Connection Inc. Um, I wanted to post it, but there's been some updates on the. Sorry, my my leopard gecko just yawned, and it was really cute. I wish you could have seen it. It's, she's just she. I love her. Um, this isn't about her. I uh, got a mystery pack of five mantises. I actually received six mantises. Um, and I'll post that whole video in just a minute. I just wanted to do a quick introduction on what the rest of this video is going to be because there were some updates regarding that package and I want to make sure that you get both the, the me unboxing to see what I received and then I'm going to elaborate more on what's happened since then. Um, it's been probably a month, maybe longer, since I received that box. Um, and I just want to be really clear on what I received because I think it's really important to know who you're buying from and know what products you're getting. And I did reach out to this company and I'll include all of that uh, after this clip. Hello. Um, I just got my mystery box of mantises. So if it looks like I'm on my PJs and just woke up, I did because the box just came. Oh, the oh. card. Um, these came from Mantis Connection Inc. I had never heard of them before. They had a mystery box of five mantises. I don't know if I'm going to have to ID these or if they're going to be labeled. So if I have to ID these, that's going to be embarrassing. Um, so many packages. Okay, here we go. It's a bud wing. Okay. I don't have any of these guys. Looks like an L. Oh, where's my camera? There he is. Um, he's packed nice. I got a little paper towel. There's a little fly in there, so it looks like he's been eating. I can see... I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. There's, like, wings and stuff. So there's a, you see it on the paper towel? Like, wings and stuff. That's pretty good evidence that they've been eating. <laughs> they don't like the wings. Um, so, bud wings are really easy keeps. This looks like maybe an elf... Three or L4, he's pretty big, although they're a big species. I don't have many big species, probably in L3 though. Um, but look at him. What are you doing? Oh, are you hungry and you can't, he's hungry and he can't get that little fly up there. It's stuck. Well, I'll give you some food. Um, so Budwing, that's cool. Cute. There should be five mantises in here. Ooh, okay. This guy's molting. Um, which is complicated. He looks like maybe he's stuck. Um, Medusula, what is that? Giant rainforest, I think. Um, I'm gonna show him to you and then set him down. So I think he might be stuck. But I'm gonna try and see if I can help him. He looks pretty big, so hopefully I can. It's not there. It's only stuck on the back legs. Ooh. Okay, little one. I'm gonna set him down. Okay. Ooh, another giant species. I don't remember if this is. It's uh, H. petalifero. I don't remember which one it is, but it's big. I know it's big. It's a giant something. Um, he's cute though. Look at him. Oh, the camera's on the side. Look at him. active um evidence that he's been eating in here looks like there was some water in here but it's pretty dry he looks good he looks good i'll probably take some better pictures of these guys once i get them out oh there's six in here you sent me an extra uh furidus what is that i don't remember and then get some other big species <laughs> Oh, he's so little. Probably just an L2. So small. So little. Oh, <laughs> looking at the camera. Um, oh, he's so cute, though. He's so green. I don't have any green species. Oh, uh, the Chinese, but both of mine are brown, so. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. Oh, there's a molt in here. 
but no one's stuck aria i don't i don't know is that uh that's an african species i'm pretty sure is it the congo green i don't know um looks good molted in here which is a little concerning but did so successfully there's a lot of flies probably because you didn't eat because he was melting no keep it's a mess in there because there's a lot of flies and i can't, I can't really look it that's my dog barking. Yeah, I'll get better pictures of these guys. Ah, uh, cutie, yo. Looks male. Still kind of small to tell, but it's male. And the extra. Oh, it's another Aria. It's a smaller one. He molted in here too, goodness. That's spooky. Um, he's running around. Looks healthy. Very green. What a cute. Awesome. Oh, there's two molts in here. Maybe they just live in these cups. A lot of dead flies, though, which makes me think he molted recently. Cute. Cool. Most excited about... I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with these species to tell you which one's my favorite. Um, the arias are really pretty. It's really bluish kind of green. Um, and they've got like stripes on their back, kind of. Which is really cute. Um, I know there's two giant species in here at least. So that's kind of cool. I think the giant Asian and giant African, but I can't ever tell you which is which. I always get them confused. Um, so... Very faintly warm. Mm. Everybody's okay, so except for the one that's molting. Uh, I'm gonna do my best with him. Uh, I'm gonna give him a little more time, um, and then spritz him with water and see what I can do. But he may not make it. Anyway, those are from Mantis Connection. Yes, Mantis Connection Ink. And here's that. I don't know. It might even be backwards because I'm using my front facing camera. Um, so thanks so much for the mystery box. Definitely not any species that I already had, so that's exciting. I'll have to be doing some research. I know general care for everybody and I've got all the food to feed them, so. Babies. Okay, now that you've seen the original unboxing, um, I do want to specify that I only have one of those mantises left. I've either rehomed or lost um, the individuals that I received. That one here is the giant Asian mantis, and he's doing great. I do actually have a home lined up for him, so once he molts again and I can ship him, he will be going to his new home. That's not because the mantises are unhealthy, and I'm not sending them away because they're unhealthy. Um, I just prefer smaller species, and while these guys are really cool, I would much rather keep a smaller species um, than something that I'm going to need to get a larger container for because I really just don't have the space. As you can see, I've got terrariums everywhere. I just had a, a uh, let me put him back so he doesn't like run away while I'm trying to talk. Um, I just had a Chinese mantis egg case hatch. And so I'm in the middle of getting the apartment set up for those guys. That's what's going on right here. I haven't got all of them put away yet, but... Here's a quick peek. Look at all these little guys. Um, not a super successful hatch, but I, I'm confident that at least a few of them will make it. Uh, they're really stunted and a lot of them have some deformities, but anyway, that's a completely different video. Um, but, so when I received the box for Mantis Connection Inc., the biggest issue, the biggest red flag was I opened a Mantis mid -molt, which shouldn't happen. If, like, I can see it happening on occasion, especially if you're breeding on mass, but even when I have every single one of these apartments full, I know about when my mantises are going to molt. I keep track of that. When I see a molt in the container, I put a little flag on it and I put the date on it, so I know exactly when I can expect them to molt again so that I don't have that happen. And my racking system can hold 108, I think, just the four over here, plus I have another one here, and I have a bunch of other containers of mantises that I have to keep track of. And so that's with the little flags. If you see the little flags on the uh, 
containers that I hold up now and again, those are their molt dates. And so I was really disappointed that I received a mantis that had molted in shipment. Um, because it can kill the mantis, it can just die. Like, the survival rate of something that ships, that molts during shipping is not, not good. Um, thankfully this one only had his farthest back legs uh, that were deformed and he did manage to survive through his next molt with some help. Um, that mantis has actually gone to a kindergarten classroom now, that was the giant rainforest mantis, and uh, he's doing well. He's actually one of the healthiest ones of the bunch. Both of the Congo Greens that I received are also doing well. Uh, one of them went to the same kindergarten classroom and he's eating well. The other one I shipped to an acquaintance down in Georgia um, who was taking great care of him. Both of them are healthy and eating and doing great. Um, none of the other mantises I received uh, survived. The Budwing did not make it. It had severe diarrhea um, and was vomiting this black brown horror fluid um, and he ended up passing on. I did everything that I could. I kept him hydrated. I offered food and he wouldn't eat and eventually he did pass away. Um, the giant African mantis, uh, it just wouldn't eat. It arrived and it was not eating. I managed to get it to eat a couple of flies by kind of squishing them and holding him under his mandibles, um, but he was not interested in food. In fact, he would run from food and eventually he also passed away which is really disappointing to receive a shipment and have two mantises that are clearly not healthy. Um, I did contact the company, I, I, and I was very clear, I'll, I'll probably post screenshots of the message that I sent and the message that I received. I'm not trying to start like a boycott or a flame war, I was just so disappointed by the product that I received that I want to let other people know what to expect if they're going to order from this company and maybe to influence their decision on where to get their mantises from. Um, aside from what happened to the mantises after I received them, when I received them all of the cups were full of feces. Like, Mantises don't produce a ton of waste. They're pretty small, and all the ones I received were young nymphs. They were L2s, L3s, maybe an L4 um, in the case of the rainforest. They were not big mantises yet, and so they shouldn't be producing that much waste. Um, but the cups were full of it. There was water, like when they had misted the cups before shipping them, that water had mixed up with the, the feces inside the cups, and it was just this brown fluid kind of swirling around in the bottom of the cup. It was really gross. And, um... In addition to that, there were actual molts inside the cups. And this was one concern I had when contacting the company, because these cups are not big enough for these mantises to be living in. Um, they need big netted enclosures, or they need what I do with an apartment system, um, where they each have their own cup, but it's big enough for them to molt successfully. These were little tiny deli cups, uh, like this sized. And I think they were the exact same ones that I use to ship. Um, and the mantises in L3 and L4 were living in those cups because there were multiple molts. Um, some of them had two or three molts inside the cup. Um, and so when I contacted the company about that, he, I was told that it was just a shipping issue and that they're put in new cups whenever they're shipped out. And that was because they had people assisting them with shipping and they didn't follow protocol. But the problem is that even if you put them in new cups when you ship them, they shouldn't be living in those cups to begin with, especially when they're that, well, that size. And so I just kind of received a bunch of excuses and was told that they have um, good ratings and a good reputation and all this stuff. I didn't even receive much of an apology except for, sorry, your mantis has died, which wasn't even the only issue that I had. And so I was really, really disappointed, not only in their reaction to my, my concerns, and I was very clear that I didn't want any reimbursement or any sort of refund. I didn't want new mantises from them. I just wanted to let them know what I received because I was disappointed by it. Um, and as far as I can tell, they don't have any intention to change what they're doing. Um, and because, and I mean, they may. It's very possible that they will. But what I received was so bad that I personally will not order from them again. Um, I think everything they have right now is out of stock anyway. But. Um, I wouldn't want to receive mantises in that condition, especially when I had so many of them that were in rough shape when I received them. So that's pretty much what this video is all going to be dedicated to. I'm going to try with uh, my editing software 
to get the video, to, to get the emails that I sent and received up. I just have iMovie, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. Um, but I'll see what I can do. And I may just link screenshots in the description if I can't figure it out. Because I do think that that is important for you to see. Both because you'll see my side specifically and what I said and their response to me. So you can see at least some of their side. And I will put the unboxing video obviously before this clip so you can see exactly what I received. Um, I just want this hobby to be positive. You know, I hate doing videos like this because I don't want to cause drama. But mantises are a living thing. It's not like shipping a toy. It can't come damaged because it'll die. It's a completely different situation, and so to receive something that was so dirty and and ended up dying is so disappointing for me. And I want people who look out and buy their first mantis to have a positive experience. And for me, that was not a positive experience. Um, they were not my first mantis, to be clear. But if they were, I would be very disappointed and probably wouldn't get more mantises. And that's not what this hobby should be about. It should be about encouraging people to get into a species that they might not otherwise no is available. Um, so that's this video. The next few videos I'll be posting are also pre-recorded. You'll notice that I like won't have this poster in the background or I won't have all of these square containers or a number of other things. Uh, but then I'm going to get back to new content. Those were unboxings that I recorded before and then I lost my motivation to post them. And now I'm catching up. Um, so that's it for this video. Hopefully it's not too depressing and hopefully you're not too discouraged by this community because there are some wonderful breeders out there who are producing high quality animals, beautiful animals. I'm so excited my orchids are turning pink again. I don't know why. They're just, they're bright pink even though they had lost most of their pink and I'm so excited. Um, and I of course, all of the mantises in this room except for the Chinese are not bred by me. They have been purchased by me for projects in the future. And so I have been thrilled with most of the animals that I've received. Just this particular experience was really poor. Um, and I thought I would share that because of that. So yeah, hopefully no more drama videos in the future, right? Is it, does it count as drama if it's true? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that works. But uh, hopefully the next few videos will be a lot happier.